There is a discussion going on all the time, what is a print? If you paint a painting, take a photo of that and print that out. That's a reproduction. Printmaking is very democratic. It allows you to disseminate information to a larger audience. Instead of just creating one painting, you can create 100 prints or 1,000 prints. So liner cuts, wood cuts, screen prints, etchings, all kind of prints where the artwork is made in what we call the matrix. There's a huge diversity of printmakers in Darwin. I'm intolerant of intolerance and so like, I like to do a lot of sociopolitical work, community-based work that sort of like helps people that are marginalised and to get their messages out there as well. Traditionally, screen printing is made in editions. So you have an edition of, let's say, 20 prints. They're all numbered and signed by the artist and they're all supposed to be as exact as possible. These are some of the works that I had in the 2020 print exhibition. My name is Mats Unden. We have established, I think, a print exhibition here up in the top end that will be internationally recognised to try to raise awareness. The printmaking has a very long tradition and strong tradition here up in the NT and we want it to continue. We ended up with a, quite a mix of people in the show. We had students that recently graduated. We had artists that have been established. So many of the works that we saw in this exhibition were one-off works. Widespread of mediums and sizes, incorporated different techniques. Some of them were three-dimensional works. We had handmade paper printed with the actual different colored paper pulp. So the paper itself becomes the artwork. The Northern Territory Printmaking Exhibition is also a good showcase to see works from Aboriginal communities. Printmaking in Indigenous communities up here in Northern Territory was very, very well received all over in many, many communities. I don't think the culture of printmaking in communities is as strong as it was. Some is still happening, the places that do have a press. There's a great scope in Darwin to have a collaborative printmaking area or, or a hub that's specifically designed towards printmaking, given the impact that it's had on the Indigenous communities still to this day. And I, I really think it would be good to be able to have access to that, to expertise within the community for those artists that want to explore other streams of, for, for revenue as well too. If you can't sell a $6,000 painting, for instance, you might be able to sell $80 or $300 print. My name is Winston Jobling and I'm a Darwin visual artist. She is one of the leaders within paper making in the world, I guess, definitely here, but probably in the world. I make paper, handmade paper from plants. I print, fairly industrial printmaking. She works as a paper maker and printmaker and she very often combines these techniques but I also use weird drawing materials like photocopy toner. She has then handmade paper that has different colours already in it to fit the print that goes on top. My practice is pretty experimental and I'm always trying out new materials. Frank Goya is another well-established artist who works in the print medium. I'm a local visual artist uh, from Darwin. I've been living here since 1975. I graduated in 1992 from Northern Territory University as a printmaker. His artwork incorporates often packaging or advertising, comics, usually going back in time several decades. He works very often with two printmaking techniques. One is the screen printing and the other is letterpress. The printing equipment that I've got here is sort of ranges from uh, screen printing tables, ones that I've purpose built from junk from uh, recycling shops and bits and pieces. There's a large screen printing press that I got from Monash University that was throwing that out. Not everybody knows that he is a very well-regarded painter, more outside of Darwin than locally. I went on to also help establish the Northern Territory University Indigenous Print Workshops, which later turned into Northern Editions. 
I think the opportunity for rebuilding it could come through an open access studio. The hope is to establish an open access print workshop which artists can use and that we also can use for tutoring and do workshops. There was a great deal of notable work in the 2020 exhibition, just the sheer variety of work, the different mediums that were employed. So after the first one for the 50th birthday of InPrint and the Print Council of Australia, there was one in 2018 and then this one in 2020. So hopefully they will continue biannually. The future of this print exhibition looks very, very bright. I think what Matt's Wunden is doing for the community is a really good thing.